right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. But first, what's up, all of my gym stars? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Look, man, so you want to play center, like I said, you playing center, this is my class, how to play center. It's, it's pretty much a crash course for dummies. I'm a dummy. And you can learn a lot from a dummy, right? Buckle your safety belt. Anyway, look, man, I guess I'm showing how old I am with that one. I don't know if my video lagging or not, man. I can't really tell. Um, I'm actually trying to get a new computer or something like that later on, man. I'm, I'm about to get the AMD. I think it's the 3950 or something like that. I need something more powerful to push, you know, so I can do what I want to do. I don't got a lot of overhead with this stuff, man. So I'm about to do that. So y'all about to see a bunch of streams and all that. If you want to help your boy out, just buy a shirt off the site, man. Speaking of the site, man, look, man. Everything going out today. If you didn't get it, uh, I'm, I'm actually going to be sending pictures out to y'all and all that good stuff, man. But check this out, man. Um... Hey, look, I, I don't know if I want to get the 99, uh, the 9900K or the AMD 3950X. Can, can y'all give me some of that stuff down in the comment section? Which one y'all think is going to be best and all this stuff, man? That's, that's all I wanted to ask y'all, man. But look, on with the show. Heard somebody, look, this, 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 is, the, this is the bill that we're going with right here, man. I'm trying to right. get it so you can see me. Y'all can see me and all my glory and you can see all the stuff, too. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitch, make sure y'all follow me on Twitch, man. We're looking at 125 subs on our way to 150. Start Lito Buttermilk in the city tonight. This is with my minus fives, man. I don't have my plus fives. Normally, I'd have 75 speed, all the acceleration, 98 strength, uh, 99 plus strength, uh, all that stuff. I didn't do my I didn't do my physicals. That's my bad before I did the video. The video I did yesterday was on the Xbox. I got this I got this build two times. Um, so that's just that's just so y'all can see my physicals. 83, 66. This is this is the whole bill right here, man. Let me tell you something. You're gonna see me do some things in this video that I'm gonna show y'all on how to play the pick and roll properly, right? If you don't have this stat right here probably not gonna work for you man you're probably gonna get torched if you don't got perimeter defense in your center centers i mean people just gonna shoot right in your face over and over pause they're not gonna care if you don't have this stat up it uh, look you owe it to yourself go back make your center over again and just put the perimeter defense up it's gonna change your life all right it's gonna change your life it's gonna change your life bro i promise you that man do what you gotta do Go grind it back out. 37 games, 27 games if you do it right. Uh, we're going to have that class tomorrow, how to rank them up fast. But this right here is one of the most important stats, man. Obviously, your interior defense is going to be up with 99.9. This is minus 95. All that good stuff, man. Uh, rebounding will be like in the 90s and all that stuff. But you got to have your stats like this. So if you just now decide to play center, you probably just not decide to play center. You ain't too far in the grinding process. Put this stat up. Anybody tell you that this stat and that strength aren't important, they're an idiot. They have no clue what they're talking about. Somebody saying, and I don't know, I don't know if it's one of my subs or whatever. They, they're not an idiot. They just don't know what they're talking about because they don't play center. Somebody put in the in the comments today, imagine thinking strength matters in 2K. Strength matters in 2K as a center. If you don't have 98 strength or 99 strength, then what you're going to have to do is commit more badges to move in trunk. People gonna back you right under the rim just like you're not even there, man. You have to have your strength up as a center. If you don't wanna do it and it works for you, fine. You shouldn't even be taking this course, man. You shouldn't even be looking at none of this stuff. But I'm telling you, if you don't have your strength up as a center, you're gonna get bullied, you're gonna get pushed around. Those guys, you're gonna be going against dudes with 99 strength and straight backing you down with Hall of Fame back down punters. You think you're gonna stop them with no? And the reason that I know that strength works in conjunction with this is because my dog ATL, when he plays with his rebounding wing, he got like 78 strength. He has to put this on Hall of Fame to stop somebody from backing him down. All right? Me, I only got to put it on silver because I got 99 strength. That's your case in point right there. Imagine thinking strength doesn't matter in this game. Look, get your, get your stuff like this, man. Now, look, I want to show y'all something else, man, because, I, I look, this is NBA certified. We're going to show y'all how to play the pick and roll and how to play it properly. Look, this is how you would ideally like to play the pick and roll. Here, you've got an option to, to step up hard 
and straight trap him, and then you might have somebody lurking underneath to stop him when he rolls to the hole. Or you're gonna make it so hard for him to pass the ball, he's gonna have to make a pass before he does it, you know. But you're not gonna have Ron Harper and Scottie Pippen, two of the best defenders, two of the best defenders of all time. You know what I'm saying? Playing the ball. You're not gonna have this. Right here, Ron Harper, if he goes at Ron Harper, he, it looks like he's going to cross over and go back at Ron Harper. He's not going to be able to really make that pass to Carl Malone instantly because Pippen going to be trailing trip and Pippen is super athletic. And then if he goes the other way, Pippen is fully capable of guarding him and, and doing all of that stuff. You can't do that in this game because your center's not going to be quick enough. I know somebody in the comments is going to say they got a center that is quick enough to do all this, but hey, you got to show me. Show me. I, I'm going to need to see some video proof. I say some video proof. I'm gonna need to see some video proof of that, man. So check it out. Look, this is how the NBA is telling you to play it. And they're right, because this is what I'm gonna show you. You wanna be as far away from the ball as possible because it's much easier to move up than it is to move back in this game. Let the play develop in front of you and then you decide when you need to attack the ball and all of that. We're gonna look at this, we're gonna look at this Lopez right here, man. Lopez, playing it. Check this out. Boom. Get screen. Let the play develop. At the last second, you see how he's rolling, but he's waiting on both of them at the last second. Boom. Stop the play. Gonna go back down here again. We're gonna look at somebody else do the same thing. Joel Embiid standing as far away from the play as he possibly can so that he keeps everything in front of him, right? Boom. Check out. Look at what happens. Look, they do it. He gets screen. He's waiting. Steps up. Get the block. There you go right there, man. That's two or two of some of the best to ever do it, playing the pick and roll. That's how the NBA wants you to play it. That's exactly how I'm going to tell you to play it, man. You're going to say, yeah, you know, you know, Jay, I hear what you're saying, but, but it's not going to work against somebody that's good. Well, I beg to differ. I think if you play the game, first of all, we got Aaron Gordon out here. I keep that burner beside me. You know what I'm talking about? I keep the burner beside me, man just in case something go wrong, man. And you got Jay Easy, the worst center in the game, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, uh, on Xbox on the Tiger King. But look though, this is what I'm trying to tell you, man. Look, 11.4 points a game and a center that got 8.2 points a game. These guys are no slouches by any stretch of the imagination and then they got to play making shot. Hey, it is what it is. I don't think you can really score. I don't think you get to, what's that, Superstar 3? And, uh, cause I think I'm Superstar 2. I'm Superstar 1, damn. I don't think you get to Superstar 3 and score 11 points a game by being trash. And also, uh, this guy right here, you don't get to Superstar 1. I mean, hell, he, he better than I am. That's what that's what y'all gonna want to say. So, hey, it is what it is. This is how you play the pick and roll, man. We get on the spot, we saw what we had. Just right off the bat, I know that he just wants to set screens. Here we go. You see where I am right here? I'm far back. My guard's obligation is to play sides. That's their obligation. My obligation is to allow things to develop in front of me, but flow as needed. So if this guy, if if um if the guy comes at me, T Mizzle should pick him up. The other guy, I mean the Dodge got the other guy. I'm waiting to see who goes to the basket. Everybody else gonna get who's on the perimeter. I'm, that's my first responsibility. So look, it ends up that this guy comes to the basket, right? I gotta pick him up. Now I'm watching T on this screen. If T can get through this screen, I'm gonna go back to the center. If he doesn't, then I'm not. Okay, boom. Looking at everything still. The other guy, I, I can still get there. So watch what happens. Heads and heads and he's trailing. This is what I'm this is what I'm looking at right here. He's trailing, right? I'm I've made the decision that Dodge can get there. He can he can guard both of those guys that they get, because that's how 2K is. You guard you guard two at one. Boom. Dodge got him. If he passed the ball, Dodge got him too, and then T can get there. Look at this. Okay, look, look what happens. Look what happens. Look, that's exactly what happens. Boom, he got him. I'm retreating to the paint because I don't want the roll to happen. Dodge is, is trailing, right? He makes the pass. Dodge, can, Dodge is able to defend him also. T gets back to his man, they reset it. You see where I am right here? I'm standing in the middle of the paint. Now, you might be thinking, why are you standing that far back? Because it's way easier for me to come up than it is to get back to the center. I'm going to stand in the paint. Depending on what type of animation T gets hit with, that's going to that's going to determine what I do. Until then, my job is to, is to deter him from going the way he wants to, 
but also just wait. T got to die before I go out there. You're going to see what happened. Look, look, he's chasing him with the screen right here. He wants to go that way. He can't go that way because I'm hedging here. You can't come this way, right? But I'm in the paint. He goes there. I see. I see T get hit with this with this animation. Look, you got you to gotta know the animation. You see how he gets hit? His outside shoulder is going toward the player. To me, that means he's going to get there. That's what that means. Boom. He chases him. He gets there. There's no way he can get the shot off in time because I read that. His outside shoulder flies toward the player. Boom. I know that he can get there. 90? Because y'all might be like, eh, he ain't going to get there. He wouldn't have got there on me. Well, he got to stop. You can't just shoot a fade. 90% contest. Look, look at that. 90% contest. Ball go out of bounds. We get it back. T come down. Get a ball to me in the corner. Trays up. Splash down. This ain't this ain't about me. This is about playing the pick and roll. Again, I have to stay as far back as I possibly can, but also let this guard know you can't take the shot. So look, T's playing everything up close. T playing everything up close. Right here. He gets hit, right? But he's going to get back because I know this animation, right? And the dude's probably going to cross it back over into him anyway. Look at that. He stops. 30% covered. T got back. Boom. He gets back. My thing is, I got to stay up underneath him so we can get down there and get the board. I see him going. I see T get free while he's pulling up. If T had gotten hit a little bit harder, I would have bailed out and ran out there and did it. But he didn't get hit hard enough. And there we go. We back down the court with it. Now, you might be thinking, hell, I could have got that shot off. Bro, you're not getting that shot off with a 30% contest there. That, that's, that, that just is what it is. So, you see what I did here? Don't commit too early because a lot of times what happens is a center will see, he'll see this last part right here and like he'll commit. And I was getting ready to commit, but then I saw T catch up, so there's no point. So as you see, you see, I turn. If a center commits too hard, if you commit too hard, bro, you're going to uh you're gonna get the contest and you probably ain't as good a defender as your as your guard is. So what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna get the contest. It's gonna say 30%, but your 30% is not the same quality. T trades up, splash down. Your 30% contest on the center is not the same quality as a guard. It's just like if a guard run down in the paint, man, it's the same thing. That guard's contest at 30% is not the same quality as a center. And you know because people miss uh, different shots. Same thing. Here we go. Dodge is on him now. Look, they try to run the cross. I'm sitting back letting everything happen. They ran the cross. T goes with him. Look, Dodge gets through. He couldn't. Look, he got screened, but he can't drive. Now he going to go down. I know Dodge is there. Look, heads, heads, heads. Get underneath. I thought he was going to pass it. So I, I, I reach. But hey, we still got the ball. It is what it is. If he had to pass it, we would have got the steal. Whatever. The big thing is don't give your guard too much help. Because a lot of times, and you can ask your guard this too, a lot of times y'all just be getting in his way. And we would have made him take two bad shots. Bro, it's over with for him now. I mean, this, this, this is really over with. It, it, it's, it's all over but the shouting and the crying, man. Like, we going to come down. He going to leave me wide open. If I was, look at that. Get that, get that out of here, man. I don't, I don't know what that was. I'm pretty sure T wanted to throw the skip pass to me, but you know it is what it is. Here we go again. Dude standing in the paint. Here we go. Boom. See, there we go. Trades up. Splash down again. Look at this. You think I'm lying? Look at, first of all, I don't know how he's getting a 26% contest. Because here, the ball is gone. Look at that. The ball is gone. How he gets a contest, I don't know. Your 26% contest as a center is not the same thing as a guard's 26% contest if you don't have if you don't have perimeter defense. He don't have it. I can shoot in the center's face all day. And also, you see I'm rocking that all. Yeah, I'm rocking all these bads and I got dead out. Look here. Here we go again. Same deal. I'm standing back. I'm letting T go. Right now, this dude is cold, man. We're not even really worried about him. Right here, if he were closer to, to the three-point line, I would have immediately gone and saw this. But right now, I'm going to see if T can get through there because he's going underneath. A lot of it is positioning and all that stuff. You just got to learn how to read it. But right here, he's too far away to take the shot. T can recover. Boom. You see that? He's too far away to take the shot. T went underneath. He recovers. Same deal. T, T with a reach. Right here is a very important thing. If, if the guy goes right, I stay where I am. If he goes left, I have to help. Because I know this animation is going to put T on the right side of him. You just got to recognize these animations, man. This is one thing that you got to do. 
I know that this, I know 100% that this animation is gonna put this, put T on the right side of the center. And the guard knows this too, cause he, he just saw that he got hit with a big body. If T, if the guard goes left, I have to go left. If the guard goes right, I stay where I am because T is gonna get it. Let's see what happens. Boom, you see that? There we go. Like it put him down, but the guard, the guard went back. I don't, I don't know what he was doing really with that. Like I'm, I'm just gonna be real. So I'm looking here, I'm stepping down. Oh yeah, so, okay, so he gets hit, boom. He spins off, he goes back. I'm stepping over, same deal. Look at that, uh, and he already, we already, what's the name? Now he dead, now look at 28% contest on me with the Intimidator. Like, Bro, that's over with, man. You you can't, you can't really do a whole lot when, when you're down like that, man. You cold, you still trying to shoot. You see T go to the rim, right? Here we go, same type of thing. So I anticipated that it was gonna put him on the right side, but T spent off. I should have let that. I should let the animation play out. But hey, it is what it is. T once again got him boxed. You see what I'm doing? I'm not just doing nothing, okay? What I'm doing is, you see wherever T is, I'm going the opposite way. I know. I know he's gonna get through that animation and get back. See, boom. Wherever T is, I'm going the opposite way. So now T is on the left side. I'm on the right side. See, you see what I'm saying? Wherever T is, I'm going the opposite way because I don't want the guard to even think that he can go that way. And then I want to also maintain my position to stay up under the center, right? He hands it off. He hands it up. Look at that. You see You see what I'm saying? Wherever T is, T's on the left side. He hands it off. Boom. He want to take that shot, but he can't. Center's too far away so I can commit and I can get back. Look, step there. Look, T can get back. There's nothing that he can do. I'm here. I'm here. You see that? I'm riding the whole way. The center's no threat. You know everybody want to take this shot. Boom. Do that. Center gonna get the board, but hey, get that shot out of here. I'm able, on this play, I'm able to challenge the shot, wait till the center get the board, get the block. Now, they probably gonna get it back or whatever, but hey, hey, it is what it is. Now, we reset the play. Dodge with the steal. But do you see how regular defense turns into good defense? Do you see how this right here turned into a steal. My 30% is the same quality as somebody else's 30% because I got 70 perimeter defense and probably at this time. Get that shot out of here. He can't take the shot. Dodge goes back up top. Look, now they're scrambling. Five seconds, Dodge get the steal. He tried to set the screen. Right! Like I said, man, this is, this is just what you gotta do. Stay as far back as you possibly can and also learn Learn what, look at it. Okay, so boom, here we go. T's on the bottom side, right here. Look, at this point, I know that he can't recover. You see what I was getting ready to do? You see what I'm getting ready to do? I'm getting ready to be on that left side because T's, T's on the right, right? You don't wanna move too much as a center. If you move too much, you're gonna get stuck. Once I realized that there's no way in God's green earth he can get back, right? But I know this guard gonna try to take this shot because that's what every guard gonna try to do. Watch what I'm gonna do. This is when you commit. That's when you commit. 78% contested. Look at this. Watch this. Boom. He gets hit with a screen. I know he can't, I know he can't do nothing. Run straight to him, get a hand up. 78% contest. When have you ever seen a center really get a 78% contest without jumping? I can get that because why? Alright, let's say it with me. I have perimeter defense. That's that's really all to it. So we're gonna keep on rolling, man. Oh, hold on. I got perimeter defense. Boom. So now he shoots it. Uh, what ended up happening? He got the board and went in, but you know what? You know what? It's 13 to 2. We can give up twos. We ain't worried about twos. You know what I'm saying? We don't we've amassed the lead at this point to where it don't even matter. T go down and get the bucket. Same thing. Now T and take over. Look at this, same thing. I'm just I'm just shadowing T. Opposite shadow. Look at that. Opposite shadow. Look, step there. Don't don't have to jump. Look, he gets hit by the screen. Boom. I know he's not going to make it through that, right? I step up. T's back. Immediately get back up under the center. Center can't do nothing. Now, he's going to go up because this is something, bro. I don't even understand this with 2K. I'm standing here squarely between him. He pump fake. My guy goes out of the way. I mean, that's it. But what's important here is this. Recognize the animation. Boom. I didn't even have to commit hard. That was actually a soft hedge. This was just a soft hedge, but the dude, um, 
you know, I don't know what he was planning to do, but I got I got there. Again, they can get all the tools they want, man. T gonna go down court. Look, the center, don't, don't be this guy, bro. Bro, don't be this guy. Center, run the baseline all the time. Pass the ball in. Don't be this guy. Now, what can this dude do? He cold. It's not right, but get dunked on. What can he do but get dunked on? Don't be that guy as a center. Have you seen me do that? No. I'm back on defense playing position defense. Same thing here. You see? T's on the right. I'm on the left. If he gets through, look. Now, this is something that y'all going to hear me say. Watch this. T's there. This is one where he gets through. I want to commit, but I want to go get the board too. Look. He takes a shot, 2%. I say you're there. Now, you might say, Jay, you're supposed to commit hard to that. Listen to what I'm about to tell him when this happens. That's what I want y'all to hear. If he hadn't have been cold, if the guy had not been cold, I would I would have stepped. I would have stepped hard um, if, if he would have been cold. That's what I was telling T. So, check it out. Hold on one second. Let me, let me get this. We got we got to get back to the play, man. My bad, my bad. I'm, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. All right, here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, I done skipped so far ahead. Damn, I done, I done, I done, I done messed up. Messed up bad. All right, here we go. All right, nah, nah. All right, here we go. Okay, it was after this play. I'm sorry. And I ain't editing it. All right, so you're going to hear what I say. See what I'm saying? So that's all I'm telling him is if he hadn't been cold, I would have stepped up hard. Because I know what y'all thinking. Damn, Jay, you got to step up on that one. Well, T's trailing. T is trailing, and I'm seeing him get back, and the dude is cold. And he's shooting from damn near half court. All that is a cocktail for he got to hit a perfect shot. Me stepping up on that ain't going to make him miss. But we got the board. We off to the races. Boom. Here we go again, T. Dancing, doing his thing. Hop step. Right! And then the last time, bro, down the court. It's the same thing, same thing. Stay as far back as you possibly can. You don't need to be up there with the guards. You really only get in this way if you're up there with it. Right? Same thing. Try to set the screen. Look, you see where T is? You see where I am? You see this? Do you see this? The positioning is the key. T goes there. Okay, T gonna play that side. Boom. I'll play this side. Look, he can't go nowhere. Now T's back. Look at that. What he gonna do? Take that shot? Can't take the shot? Look, hold on. Let me, let me show y'all. This is beautiful right here, man. Look at that. I'm there. He can't take the shot. Run away from T. Can't take the shot. Look, now you can't take the shot and you can't go to the center. You dead. That's how you gotta play it. Just sit there. Be in position. Go at the last second. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. I know 100% that he gonna end. Look at the same thing with, with, with Dodge. I'm on Dodge on the left, I'm on the right. Dodge about to be on the right. Guess who going to the left? Look at that, look at that. No, you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. What is he gonna do? Look at this. Just look at it, Dodge get hit, boom. I immediately, you see how easy it is for me to come up and cover that ground from here? If I'm up there where Dodge is then, I, if I'm up there where Dodge is and I'm on the right side, I'm dead, I'm dead too. We both get screened, give him space, and then commit. Pew! Look at that. What you gonna do? I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, he make the, he make the right decision to throw it to throw it to the guy in the paint. We ain't even mad at that. But the big thing is, they can't get a three. Look, boom. Now somebody probably gonna say. And then look also look at what I'm doing. Please look at what I'm doing. Cause somebody gonna say, man, I'll cook your center. I'm gonna cook your center if you do that, bro. I'm guarding the baseline. I'm try if he goes anywhere, I'm gonna push him straight to dodge. He got to go to dodge. He don't have a choice. Then when he go to dodge, I'm gonna switch to the, I'm gonna switch. But now he knows that he already cold. So now he gonna throw it down there and get the easy bucket. We don't care about no buckets, man. That's all. Uh, uh, none of this stuff matters. And now, game pretty much over with now, man. But the biggest thing I want y'all to take trays up, splash down. Biggest thing I want y'all to take away from it is this right here, man. Don't commit too early, bro. If you commit too early, look right here. If I commit too early to this right here because I think T about to get screened, then what's going to happen? I'm going to step to the guard. Then he's just going to pass to the center because the center's going to cut. I'm denying the center's cut and I'm hedging on the guard at the same time because I'm staying far enough away. Look, T is going to get there. I got to have faith. I got to have faith in T. 
that he gonna get there. But it's also knowing the game that he has to make a move or a step. You can't shoot a fade. If he can shoot fade still, we fucked. But you can't do that no more. So he has to make that move before he can get that shot off. I'm still underneath the center. I I, I tried to box him out. It is what it is. But that's the main thing. If I'm on that left, if I'm on that right side, we asked out. I don't need to go that hard. That's a free board if I don't. You just got to know that it's just little things, man. Learn how to play the game. Read the animation. Give your guard space. Don't let him die. But at the same time, just let him know. I'm here. I'm here in case you need me. But your guard, like, look, look. Do, do you? I want y'all to look at this. You see, they looking, they're looking at my positioning. Dodge know he don't need to cut. He don't have to fight hard to get over there because he know that he, you see what I'm saying? He knows he can take his time getting around that because I'm here. I'm here. He can't make the pass, so he can play it a little bit more liberally because I'm there. I am here. I'm like, oh, my baby, I am here. Look at this right here. T can chase through. Look at, look at, look at. He can be liberal. He don't have to hurry up. He know, he know I got him. Look at that, big contest. He know I got him. Get that shit out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's all, that's all. Once you develop the defensive chemistry and your guy has faith in you, look, T can, he can make a, he can make that move because he know I got him. If you try to drive, he dead. Look, I'm here. I am here. Look, when he get hit, when he finally gets hit, that's when I go. That's what you got to do as a center, man. You can't, you can't sit there and think that your guard gonna bail you out all the time, or that you're gonna bail him out. You can't be the savior. Defense is about you do your job, I do my job. Yes, you're gonna give up a bucket or here or there. It's not gonna work that perfectly every time. Yes, you're gonna give up a bucket here and there. But you have to stay confident, and most of the time it's gonna work, man. It's not gonna work every time. I'm not gonna tell you it's gonna work every time, but 99% of the time, 90% of the time, it's gonna work enough for you to be able to get the stops that you need without having to, you know, give up a whole bunch of points, man. Screen and roll the easiest thing to play against in this game. It's that damn ISO that's just hard to play, man. I put out a video on how to play the ISO too, but everybody know how to play ISO. You you sit. You sit corner and then you pinch and then the other guy goes to the guy that goes to the shooter. And then once you get two stops, then the game really over with. You just don't give up no more threes. But the main thing is you don't want to give up threes. It's just your discretion to do what, what you like once it gets to the twos, but with threes. Anyway, man, this video already been too long, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Uh, is this helping y'all out? Is it not? Uh, do you think that, it, oh yeah, we'll, we'll cook that right there. No, you won't. You No, you won't. I got like a 92, 93 win percentage. You know how many people think that they can cook that, they can cook that and they haven't? I showed y'all that yesterday. It, it's let your guard play, commit at the last possible second. You got perimeter defense like I have, you'll get, you're going to get the stop. Sometimes you got to jump as a center. Here's what it is, man. I'm out of here, man. I'm out of y'all next time. Till next time. Face your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed. I wish this could have been done in a 10-minute video, man, but it, it just can't. It's too much to explain. And if once you have that confidence, once your guard has that confidence in you and you got that confidence in your guard to get stops and be able to get back and you got the communication, everybody can't play without communication i refuse to play without communication you out there playing without a communication you at a disadvantage i'm not in the business of putting myself at a disadvantage some people be like well, i don't need to communicate all right well don't communicate and then lose the shit like that that's it anyway i'm out of here man until next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ god speed if i need communication and you don't maybe i'm just not as good as they are man it is what it is but i'm out peace